Okay, so after disconnecting or uh, taking out um, the top of uh, the pump, which is this one here, I've disconnected the wires from, from the circuit board, uh, which you can see inside. Uh, so in this case, you, you can see that the red connector goes onto a red connector on the motherboard and the battery, which has a white connector, goes on the white connector on the motherboard. So I took them apart and I want to see after turning the, uh, the motor manually a couple of times, um, I want to see whether it still works. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect it directly to, um, to uh, this uh, um, rechargeable battery. Uh, I couldn't find any other or any better solution, so I'm using two um, two needles. Um, but if you have something else like two thin wires, you can actually do this as well. So I'm going to connect, uh, put the two needles in these connectors, making sure they don't touch each other. This one and the second one. Okay, so keep them separate as much as you can. And then paying attention to connect the black wire of the, the battery to the black wire of the engine, of the motor, sorry. Which in my case is like this. Yeah, and it works, and not only works, but it went full speed uh, without the board being controlled, uh, without the board controlling uh, the motor, so I need to put this back here. Uh, but at least the good thing is that the... Um, motor works. So I'm going to put everything together and reconnect them to the motherboard and see if that works at all. Okay. So this flexible part of the hose goes around this and if, in fact if you turn it slightly, if you rotate this, you might not see much, sorry, my big fingers are in the way, but you rotate this a couple of times and it works. Yeah. Now everything is back in its case. I'm going to put back, so it, it needs to look like this. I'm going to put, put back the cover, which clips on like that. And in fact, I could test again with the battery and um, the cover of the, the pump on. That should make it easier. No flying bits and pieces. I'm going to use the same sort of rudimentary method with my needles. I'm sure you can find something better than this. Again, black to black.
yeah, so it works. Now, let's see. It might be that uh, in this case, the, the motherboard, well, the motherboard, the circuit board has some issues. In any case, I'm going to connect this back. First of all, here at the bottom, I hope you can see it. There are some seats in which the bigger one, this one, is for the pump and this smaller one is for the battery. one went in. I need some let's see if with the pincers I can actually put this back in here. That was one. Let's get the battery. This side as well. So far, the behavior is like at the beginning. So I'm switching it off. But when I switch it on, it's just a, a short, um, the, the LED sh uh, lights up just shortly and um, then it goes off. It, it needs to normally, it should stay on for a bit longer. So it might indicate there is a problem with the board. What I'm going to do, um, I'm going to uh, disconnect the sensor board, see if there's anything, uh, I'm not uh, um, a specialist in uh, circuit boards by any means, so I, I think that if there is a problem with the boards I can't do anything about it, but I'm just trying to see if there's anything behind it. So let me find some fine screwdrivers.
it's awesome. Tiny screws. Phillips head. This is moving. Yes, it is. So what's wrong with it? That is the sensor. I wonder if it makes a difference. The lens makes a difference or not. Let's see. I'm going to switch it off. take my gloves off no so the sensor doesn't work okay so I'm afraid no luck so far uh, but at least that's how you open the, uh, the pump so I'll, uh, I'll just put this back So for some people, this might be helpful in case uh, the motor is somehow stuck. Um, you can you can actually check the pipes and then make sure that there is no uh, soap that um, uh, I don't know hardened or or anything like that. But uh, should you have a problem with one of the boards or the sensor? Uh, probably you won't be able to do much I guess and you need to put it on the right in the right place for the screws to, to actually catch goes on top and here you have the duck bill that goes on this um, in fact it goes in before and then it goes in like that After which we have this part that goes in, and I think that um, should this um, have worked, I would have had to to re glue it um, and uh, make it look as presentable as possible. Right now, I'm just putting them together for the sake of getting this back to um, a single item so I this the button here comes on top here pressing slightly the button will allow you to slide in like that And now this is the soap tank which you can screw in like this and that's pretty much it so this is the soap dispenser and the rechargeable one from simple human how to take it apart and put it back Together. One last try. Yeah, the, the lead still comes, but the sensor doesn't work. Okay, that's it, folks.